a great middleweight of a few years ago who has been uh, quite celebrated over the past few months for other reasons that we will not get into this evening, but he is an old friend of yours, Howard. He's an old friend of mine, Reuben Hurricane Carter. And Reuben, let's, let's talk about Muhammad Ali because he's the story here tonight. Uh, Jimmy Young is a fighter, uh, but Muhammad Ali is something, uh, well, he's something really special. Muhammad Ali is a fantastic human being, but even more than that, Muhammad Ali is a correct thinking person just as many other correct thinking person people in this country are finally realizing that only when people get together with other people will we solve the problems of people and Muhammad Ali is that man he's not only a fighter by profession but he's a fighter by conviction he knows right from wrong and that's beautiful unusually in uh, many respects uh, as a fighter uh, Ruben uh, you've seen the great ones it's been your profession uh, how would you evaluate him of course, we're talking about 1976. So therefore, if we were living back in 1986 or 1886 or 1786, well, the fighters of that time were the fighters of that time. But we got to grow. We got to keep on moving because a fool, no, neither a wise man can see where they're going if they're always looking backwards at where they've been. You see, so Muhammad Ali is the greatest today, right now, and he has proved that. And I think that he has shown that he loved himself so much and that's why everybody else loves him, too. He's the people's champ. Reuben, thank you. You sounded a little bit like him. He said, uh, the jets out fly, the propeller planes. He said, why am I not the greatest? Reuben, thank you for being with us. Thank Enjoy you, the Frank. fight. It was great to see you again. Thank you. 